What is up people, this is YSHQ and in this video, I'll be talking about mining hardware. So mining refers to creating coins using the processing power or the hashing power of a computer. That's my definition of mining in layman's terms. So for mining, these are the few things that you'll be requiring. That is a good GPU, a good power supply and an efficient one as well. A budget processor because mining does not require a lot of processing. 4 plus GB of RAM, a motherboard with a high number of PCI lanes. This is important because the graphics card are going to be connected to the PCI lanes as well. The PCI riser cards, these will convert the PCIe lanes from 16x to 1x and would be connected to the graphics cards using a USB 3.0 connection. Then a storage device that can be a USB or an SSD and a frame to mount everything. Now the first thing that we'll be talking about is the GPU. So the things to consider before buying a GPU. Uh, mining requires 4 plus GB memory. Um, mining normally works on storing or calculating algorithms. Now these algorithm sizes can go uh, for more than 3.5 GBs and hence a 4 plus GB memory, uh, memory GPU is required. Next, a high memory clock, then a low power consumption. Um, low power consumption is important because these cards will be turning 24 7 and hence the lower the power consumption, the lower the electricity cost and hence higher the profit of mining. Then the type of memory, there are three major categories, Hynix, Samsung and Micron. Then the size. The size is important because the size would depend the cost it would uh, take to make or buy the frame. Now, out of my research, I found that the best GPU as of now is the 1080 Ti from NVIDIA or the RX 580 from AMD. And the worst one for the price would be a GTX 1080. Now, other GPUs such as the uh, R9290 or those, those mine at up to five, uh, 50 mega hashes per second but those are about 5 to 600 watts per card and these RXs they mine at about 29 to 30 mega hashes after a BIOS mod and uh, they run at about 100 to 110 watts so you can see the difference now the next part is the power supply. Now the power supply you will buy, it should be an efficient one. There is an 80 plus gold or higher. Those are the platinums or the titaniums. Those would cost high, but they are more efficient than the other ones. And they have a better and stable output than the normal cheapos. Next, the number of 8 pin outputs. Now this is important because the number of 8 pin outputs would determine the number of graphics cards that you'll be able to connect because each graphics card would need at least one 8 pin graphics a uh, one 8 pin power connector then the output voltage now output voltage can be calculated using this formula that is the number of gpus into watts per card plus 115 so in my case it was uh, the rx uh, 580s now i had six of those so six into the watts per card Let's take about 110, so 660 watts plus 150, so um, about 810 watts plus, plus 10 to 15 watts and I had a power supply of 1000 watts and hence it would satisfy the needs. Then the motherboard, now this is an important part of the rig because it would act as a connection between the mining hardware and the outside world. Now the type of socket, this could be an LGA 1150, 1155 or any other or an 1151 as well which I am using. The number of PCIe lanes or the connectors. Now this is the most important part because if you want to connect 6, G, 6 GPUs then you need at least 6 PCIe uh, outputs or inputs. Then the BIOS updates, now most of the Motherboards which I'll be listing, those are for mining and some are for gaming but the gaming ones have BIOSes 
with support mining then as my personal view i'd re- recommend intel as it would be less power hungry these are a few of the uh, motherboards which can be used the 12 rigs uh, the 12 gpu motherboards there are only two in the ma- on the market right now what is from azure there is the h110 pro btc plus and one is from biostar tb250 btc pro these both the biostar one has 12 uh, can support up to 12 gpus and the azure one can support up to 13 gpus and the others those uh, mine about 6 gpus now the other things that you'll be needing that is the ram anything above or at 4 gb and i'd recommend getting a good brand next a processor now a processor you can get uh, you can get away with any low end processor though that is a celeron or a pentium depending on the socket then the riser cables now these are the most important parts make sure to get a um, two or three extra because many manufacturers they ship defected ones i'll have a link down to the riser cables which i which i use and those are good ones next the source storage now the storage will be used to mount or install the os for mining and this could be a usb 3.0 uh, pen drive or a 16 gb plus ssd adding a greater ssd won't be of use because you won't be using this pc for any other use next the os now i test i tested windows ubuntu and ethos ethos stands for ethereum os now this is a good distribution and i recommend this because it has the easiest setup and can support up to 16 gpus from either company so that's it for this part stay tuned for the next part where i'll be showing you the mining rig so thank you for watching this video like this video or dislike it subscribe to the channel share it go to my other videos and see you next time tada